There was a lot of times that players come back and visit their schools. Hey, who's that guy in the middle, right? That's President, former <laughs> President Bill Clinton throwing up the U sign. It is a very stuff. tight fraternity at the University of Miami. It is very common to see a lot of the former players now in the pros show up on the sideline. This is Sean Drawn. Nice run for about nine yards. Let's check in with Wendy in the studio. Well, you talk about talented receivers, Julio Jones. First and ten. Just underway here in the fourth quarter. North Carolina needs to get some rhythm here offensively, not on this play. That's going to be a loss of about four yards. Buchanan, they, they can become more consistent on offense. Gates underneath finds his receiver at about the 46 it's yard line. A guy that's really disappeared for North Carolina. Life Stadium sounded a little bit like the old yard, the Orange Bowl right now. Yates, they jumped it out and got the pick. Ramon Buchanan did clean it up. Boy, just forced that thing in there again. Tried to get that quick slant that they converted for the first down earlier. On first and ten, play fake by Harris. Lindsay complete at the 43 to Aldarius Johnson. Well, everybody thinks about the old yard, the Orange Bowl, which was one of the more intimidating places to play. There was a lot more intimacy with the fans, Bob. You see how close they were, but right now, uh, that's exactly where they're building the new baseball stadium downtown in Dade County. Yeah, trade off with everything. You've got a beautiful facility here, but more of a corporate feeling. The stands back away from the players, back away from the field. Not nearly as intimidating as the Orange Bowl, but a great place to play. Harry hit immediately and brought down that stadium. I mean, there was a definitely an intimidating factor to place. Second and nine, Miller. And Miller stopped up after a gain of a few. I'll tell you, parking say that most of their fan base is from Broward County up this way. Third down and four for Miami. Harris looking up top. Jump ball. Caught. At the Three freshman yard. corners on the field. Doesn't need much analyst work right here. Again, those young corners not in position to play the football, Mark. You know, it takes confidence to take your eyes off the receiver and look back for the ball. And when you're a young corner, you're just burnt on one thing, and that's covering the defender. This hands it off to Miller. Looking for a seam, doesn't find much of one, and stopped up right around the line of scrimmage. But, Bob, to come back to the point that you made earlier. You know, right now, there's three out of four backup players on that field in the secondary for North Carolina. Denora Searcy, the strong safety, he hasn't played since early in the game. Second and nine, Miller trying to get to the edge. Great feet, using his speed. Gets inside the five-yard line. Picks up about five. Now. Miami in hurry-up mode. Out to Miller real quick. Trying to get to the corner. And dragged down from behind. And that's going to be a horse collar infraction. And Miller shaken up as a result. That was Bruce Carter that dragged him down. And in a great show of well, sportsmanship. First of all, I love the effort of Bruce Carter. But that's exactly why you have the horse collar rule. That's where a player gets injured right there. And you tug him down from behind. Unintentional. Lamar Miller's had a good night as well. Bit of a game changer, pace changer for the Hurricanes. Exactly. Great change up to the big power back Damian Day. First and goal. Touchdown this season in the 12th of his career. Well, big picture. Miami, Virginia Tech. 
ACC Coastal. It's going to come to a showdown. Miami still has Georgia Tech on the schedule. Even though, even though Georgia Tech lost today, the other freshman corner. Wow. Basher air yeah. rails that one. Against Miami. You look, at, you look at Yates Knight. He started out hot. One interception in 182 passes coming in. He has two interceptions and 18 passes tonight. Almost sacked and then sacked by Allen Bailey from Sapello Island, Georgia. In an earlier game, Bob, it said those veins look like a road map. Yeah. You think Randy Shannon would take that six foot boat again to get in? Yeah. It's swim. <laughs> it's swim out there to get him out to that island. And with yeah, those sharks in the water, huh? That guy is slapped together, plays defensive end and defensive tackle. On second and long underneath, the pass complete. And Jones with a nice move has the first down and then some. Out to the 36-yard line. Not much here in the second half, no. that's for sure. Wade steps up. Into coverage and incomplete every week. I'm going to watch you on that expert show this week. I'm on Tuesday, ESPN. Johnny White in a tail back and another sack for Allen Bailey. Three and a half sacks tonight for Bailey. That's the fifth sack of the night for the Kings. Third and 15. Incomplete of the bay and uptown a little bit in Miami Gardens. The Canes in control here in the fourth quarter. North Carolina forced to punt down 23 points. Fielded at the 29 by Benjamin. And Benjamin, special story behind that flag right there. That flag was in Afghanistan recently and was given to one of the players at the University of North Carolina that player right there Matt Merletti his brother served overseas and that flag served as a symbol of strength and inspiration for the troops over there and it was given to Merletti from his brother and by his brother something of a good luck charm for Carolina Merletti's been on a, in on a couple of plays tonight out of the eye Mike James with a good second effort and uh, back to Merletti you know Basically right now this tonight Butch Davis has talked about the fact that his number one guys are playing far too many snaps 70 snaps 65 70 for most of them nice move by Mike James who uses a straight arm to get over midfield is close you know you look at Miami's upcoming schedule They've got two games coming up, Virginia and Maryland. They're going to get on a roll right here. James slips and gains about two yards. And he's been able to. It's just how positive he was, Mark. I mean, he was upbeat, fun to talk to. Certainly not feeling the stressful situation, which everyone else seems to be talking about. It's easy to do when he's the assistant, but when they do it as the head coach, it really means something. Third and five. James with about a four yard gain. Miami two for two on fourth downs tonight. James is going to get the first down. Let's check in with Wendy in the studio. Take a look at Spencer Whipple in the ball game now at quarterback for the Hurricanes. Whipple is the son of the offensive coordinator in a nice handoff. You're telling me it's the Cam Newton offense yeah, because LeBron James, he's about the same size. Yeah. And he he has the option in my offense anyway to keep it. No, what, what do you think? What would you do with these Where words? would I play them? Corner yeah. on defense. I'd probably put Dwayne Wade. It's not the sexiest thing, but I'd put him at corner. Because I saw North Carolina tonight with about four freshman corners. Okay. I have no chance. So... You know, when I get down to the arena, I'll mention it to Dwayne that you were thinking of <laughs> playing him on defense or slot receiver. Of course, the NBA's regular season opens up this Tuesday, and the Heat playing on ESPN 
Friday night opening up against the Orlando Magic. And let's take a look at our Amway positive performance of the night and uh, a lot of good performances but I think defensively which is where the tone was set for Miami you have to look at Alan Bailey Bob one of our impact players double teamed on that play and still making plays. Yeah we knew coming in I mean Randy Shannon lit up yesterday when we talked about Alan Bailey. Love the strength and effort. He's got it all. Be a great NFL pass rusher. And a key cog defensively for the Hurricanes in their win tonight. 33 to 10 is a very inauspicious return to South Florida for Butch Davis of North Carolina. Ja'Cory Harris silences his numerous critics at least for another week with some good stats. He bounced back from that early interception very well. He finishes 21 of 32 with three touchdown passes. Miami with 30 consecutive resounding points to win it 33 to 10. There's been a presentation of ESPN the worldwide leader in sports. Sports Center is coming up next on ESPN 2 but there's more college football on ABC and ESPN. From Bob Davey and our entire crew from Carroll City to the Grove uptown downtown. I'm Mark Jones. Thanks for watching.